This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. In the battle of the referees, Meltzer would write, now that they did the match, I have even less clue as to why. Mick Foley was the referee. All the WCW refs attacked Hebner. So Foley kicked him out. Hebner won the match with the spear. Patrick wrestled for a few years in the eighties and was pretty entertaining. Hebner, who is older and has had some serious health problems was really blown up short enough that it wasn't that bad, but in hindsight, there was no reason for it, but boy, this really does lend some credence to the idea that they wanted to do Vince versus Eric. I mean, hell, if they're doing Hebner versus Patrick, yeah, this was, uh, this was a bad idea. Who's who's, uh, who can we pin this on Vince? There you go. I mean, he, he, somebody may have suggested maybe that's a spinoff of no, no Heyman and Jr. So we'll do the referees. I don't know, but this taking that theme to, to serious levels of deep water. And, uh, but that was ill booked, ill faded again, f- hanging everything on, uh, the brand rivalry, because obviously Earl was not a wrestler and Nick wrestled years and years ago until he got hurt. Uh, you know, Nick never achieved the, the, the fame, the, and, and, and of, of his dad, Joe Hamilton, uh, who was one of the assassins. So I've always thought the assassins, the original assassins of Joe Hamilton and Tom Ernesto was one of the greatest tag teams I ever saw. They affected me more as a kid in their program in the Oklahoma territory with Grizzly Smith and, and Luke Brown, uh, than anything at that time in my life. So I always have had a special place. I got to work with Joe in WCW a lot. I always enjoyed it, but he was a great, uh, great hand in the ring. But Nick was on his way to becoming a, a, a good solid wrestler, but he got, he got a real bad knee injury or something like that. But, and, and that was before arthroscopic surgeries and all these things, uh, to, that was refined. Uh, but it, it, the match didn't need to be booked. They could have had an altercation in the back. They could have had, uh, you know, yep. both of them thought they were booked for this match. And then they, then they got into a little scuffle, uh, would have been, would have been fine, but to have an, an official match. This didn't make any sense. So up next, we've got the APA wrestling Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo in a non. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.